what's up you guys? I'm Joe. I'm Remy. And we're here on 10th and Main at the beautiful old Adana Hotel. We're gonna go check out Bombay Grill today and pick up some classic Indian eats. And then we're gonna head to Julie Davis Park, take a nice sit, dig in. Soak up some sun, let's go. So we're here in Julia Davis Park and we got our smorgasbord of uh, Indian. Indian foods. Yeah. And I'm already making a mess. <laughs> and I have no idea what any of this is because I've never been there. I'm not familiar with Indian food, but Remy I'm so excited. <laughs> knows what's up. So she picked for me. So what do we have? So we have the chana masala, which is like a classic. Um, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is like one of the most common dishes. It's just like a, like a, like a Indian stew with like the spices in it. And it has like chickpeas as the main, okay. con, con, not condiment, the main, the main show. The main, the main show. <laughs> the main, um, yeah, performer Peace here. Peace de resistance. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then we got some roti, which is um, the whole wheat classic bread um, that you, you know, used to eat with the curry. Yep, looks like that. It's delish. Um, but non-typically, for those of you who don't know, has yogurt in it. So we decided to go for that. And then we got a fat thing of basmati rice. <laughs> this whole container is filled with rice because we ordered two curries. So for giggles and tickles, <laughs> oh my God, a samosa, which is, um, Filled with potato and pea typically, but I think you can put other other things in it. And it's like, um, I don't even want to say a dumpling, but it's fried. And it looks like that. Yeah, there's potatoes looks and peas in it. And then delicious. our last one, which has onions and um, other spices and okra in it, which just found out you've never had okra before. I don't think I have. Is it similar to, um, shoot, asparagus? See. For you some know, reason, I think it's like kind of like asparagus. It could but. probably be in the same family. Don't me look it up. I'm actually kind of curious. Maybe. But yeah. um, yeah. So I got this one mild plus, mild plus, and this one mild. Okay. I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering um, correctly. What is the sauce again? So that's a mint chutney, I believe. Mint chutney. Yeah, and then we have a tamarind sauce here, which is like, they're both classic. So. I've had tamarind soda before. It was tamarind. Mexican Ooh, soda. It was really that interesting. That sounds amazing. Where'd you have that? I think I bought it from Winco. Um, Winco has everything. I mean, let's be honest. It's, it's an interesting flavor. I can't even place it. I think I'm just gonna like start dumping some sauce, like dipping some things. Like, wait, I'm, I'm gonna try this mint chutney because I'm intrigued if it, it's very minty. Okay, a little bit of heat off the bat. It's spicy? Mm -hmm. Just a little kick in there. Um, mm. Little mint. I don't really get heavy mint, but it almost just little reminds <laughs> it almost reminds me of pico de gallo. Like that's kind of the flavor oh. palette I get in there. It's like an Indian version of pico de gallo, as far as I can tell. Huh? Kind of what I'm hitting. So I recently went to Portland with um, a friend of mine because she goes to school. Uh, or sorry, wow, Washington. Um, she goes to school up in Tacoma, and she was telling me like. She goes to the Tacoma Farmer's Market and they have supposedly the best tikka masala, like chicken tikka masala. Mm. And she was raving about it and she was talking about tamarind sauce um, with a guy who works at the stand. And he described it as a sweet Indian barbecue sauce. And that's like perfect way to describe it in my eyes. Oh. I'm like, oh, okay. I never thought of it like that because it is sweet, but it also has like that little zing and like tang into it. But. Yeah, this so how we... hits right off the bat. Yeah, I, I you might like add. it. I love the spice in it and like the texture. 
is all oh, perfectly like flaky, mm -hmm. crusty, crispy. Have you had a samosa uh, before? I don't think I have. Um, oh, I'm gonna, What? <laughs> oh. You've never had a samosa? No. Wait, go over it again. It's a, so it's like um, they use a dough and then they do like a it typically like the classic samosa. I'm sure there are other ones that you can, you know, put different fillings and stuff in there, but it's typically filled with a potato and pea mixture with spices. Okay. So they mash all of that up and combine it and then they put it into the dough, wrap it up and then you fry it. Mm. So it's like an Indian dumpling, if that's even the right terminology. That makes sense. It kind I of mean, feels like a big dumpling. Mm-hmm. Oh, the texture is so good. Like the potato, mm -hmm. so soft. Tamarind sauce, definitely get the sweetness off the bat. Yep. Um, oh, man. That's like what I love about Indian food, though, is because they do spice right. Like, I think Indian food is my favorite. Really? Food? Uh-huh. Oh, hands down. There's something for everyone with Indian food. If you like spice, they have what you want. If you don't, they also have what you want. You know, it kind of depends. Yeah, the sweetness is interesting. Like, mm -hmm. I'm usually not a big sweet guy, more like savory, salty, but this mm. is really good. Mm -hmm. So, Remy, you have not had this one before. What are your first impressions of these uh, chickpeas and Okay, um, let me check it out. I think I got this one, yeah, this one I got mild, which is the okra one. And then we ordered this one mild plus. Mm, all right. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. I think I've only had chana masala like once or twice before out of the hundreds of times I've had Indian food. Hmm. There's a lot of chickpeas in that. I mm. like it. I think I prefer chana masala to be, um, have more broth in it. Oh, okay. And less chickpeas, because it's not a whole lot of liquid going on. It's mostly just the chickpeas, yeah. but it still has a really good flavor. And it's not super spicy. So maybe- Oh, let me get this. Maybe I swap them, I don't know. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's kind of like lighter than I was expecting, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, very light. I was expecting it to be heavier. Uh, I love chickpeas, so I love the texture and like the, the nice consistent base of it. Um, mm -hmm. The sauce is just... Are you I feeling know, the same way? Kind of comforting. Yeah? Okay. It feels like a easy comfort food. Mm -hmm. like, I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe like warm butter? Kind of oh. like that feeling? Yeah. Usually, I mean, the broths are like pretty buttery and pretty savory, so I could see that for sure. Which I mean, it is very creamy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is that sound? <laughs> yeah, I would definitely want some more sauce. Do you in agree? This. Yeah, it could use a little more sauce, a little more flavor, but mm -hmm. um, it's nice. It's. It almost needs like some like kick or something. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It's very much. I love the texture. All right. Here's the best part. Oops. It's a little, a little hard because it's been sitting in the car. <laughs> uh -huh. But that's okay. Okay. Oh, true. We're loaded up. Totally. I'm always so bad with pitas. My pita game weak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> weak. Hey. We'll work on it. We'll we'll get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this definitely tastes different. It's tough, like on this show especially, because um, the food, when you get it for takeout, and like when it you know sits a little bit longer in the car, it can alter the taste a little bit. Um, so I mean, I'm sure that if you're going into the restaurant, you might have a little bit of a different experience, mm. but um, just based off of I've had their roti before, and this is obviously a little bit harder, and it's not as warm as when it freshly comes out of the oven, but that it's still sense. really tasty. Yeah, I like the texture. It's pretty soft, mm -hmm. nice, solid wheat, whole wheat flavor, whole wheat mm -hmm. goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm about to hit this okra. I haven't hit it yet. Mm. 
Okay, so that, yeah, that is a little bit more of a kick there. Yeah, I think that was the one I got mild plus. Okay. Mmm, so juicy inside. Mmm, a little bit of rind on the outside. Mm -hmm. The okra, oh, I like that, I like that. <laughs> mm. Do you like it more than the chana masala? I think I like it a little bit more, um, at least for the flavor. Mm -hmm. The texture is, it's just its own thing. Yeah. It's got two layers in there. It's almost like a squash texture. Yeah, it is. It is. Are you okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this mint chutney on the samosa. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, I could I could use another kind of samosa right now if you know what I'm saying. What? <laughs> or mimo <Yeah>, mimosa. Mimosa. <laughs> Sick brain. Why Why did I keep thinking it was a mimosa? I don't know. It's so it's so it's similar. It's similar, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Look at I know, the it's shape like a, it. like a, here, wait, let's see if I can get a piece. It's like a little flower situation. I can't get one. It's like a, yep. multiple tubes. Kind of reminds me of a honeycomb. Yeah. It's got little hairs on the outside too, dude. Look at that. A little hairy boy. <laughs> ah. That was what I like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our cold for thing. Rating time. Vibe and environment. What do you think? <laughs> um, I really like it in there. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like the fact that it's in the Idana Hotel and it's got like all this like kind of regal like light sconces mm -hmm. and like little like details on the floorboards and the wood and like the floor tiling. Old doors, like. It's, it's just beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful building. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really cool layout though because they have multiple levels within the restaurant. So they oh, have yeah, like their yeah. buffet at the main part and then they have like a back section, the front dining room, and then you kind of go up a couple steps and then they have like a whole another separate section in the back. So it's a cool layout. Yeah, the layout's um, really nice. Like, Nice warm colors in there, warm lighting. Nice, um, really nice people working in there. Oh yeah, very and friendly. Yeah. Let us, let us film there, so yeah, shout out. Thank you, sweet. Bombay Grill. Mm -hmm. Let's do uh, overall quality and taste. Hmm. Um, I think it's great. Like, uh, yeah. it seems very healthy. Uh, the, the taste is like different for like, depending on the items, but it's all like hitting above the belt. <laughs> <laughs> above the belt. Um. <laughs> the dishes we got, I really enjoyed. Like I said, I kind of wish that the chana masala had a little bit more broth to it, but mm. um, okra, always a favorite. Oh, the Love okra that surprised me. It was yeah. it's really good texture. It's Flavor was good. It's pretty it's unique. Awesome. You don't see that at very many Indian restaurants. The tamarind, like too. The tamarind was, mm. uh, that was a nice little uh, low-key uh, dark horse of the whole thing. Yep. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much. Yeah. Overall, and you really like the samosa too, right? Would you get those again? Oh yeah, the samosa, the textures on that. So good, like the crunch on the outside, the soft potato, and like the heat hit, dude. Like you could feel that heat. Like it wasn't like overwhelming, but it was nice and like yeah. good hearty flavor. Like it was, like, it just like feels like nice comfort food. Mm -hmm. so, so bang for buck. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it was a little spendier than I thought, but for like, the quality, the taste, and for like a niche thing like that, it makes sense. Um, so overall score, do you, do you have a number in head? Yeah, in Yeah, head? out of five? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say Remy, three eight is my, is my number. Remy's going with a three eight. I was swayed by, I think, um, it being outside of the restaurant, like not like immediate to mm -hmm. table. I think it kind of impacted the flavor, but I've yeah. Had, I've had better experiences there before. I think I'll give it a 3.5, um, partially because the, the price hits hits me a little harder. And then, like, it's really good, but there wasn't any one particular item that was extremely outstanding. Like, the mm -hmm. two best, I thought, were the okra and the samosa. Uh, samosa. I agree. It satisfies the craving and for what we have here in Boise, I mean, it's a pretty good option, especially yeah. if you have dietary restrictions, which is why it landed in the threes for me, but it just didn't hit the four because I wasn't really blown away by anything. It definitely could go up for me a little bit if I ate in there. 
but three five for now. So three five, yeah. three eight. That's that's where we stand. It's a good time. Um, we'll see you at the next location. Yeah, episode four, baby. Whoop, whoop. It's TV, baby. Yeah, baby. You gotta be a star.